So hi everyone, today I'd like to share with you about the Conair Infinity Pro Beach or waver. So it's a triple barrel waver. It has tourmaline um, ceramic plates and it can heat up to 410 degrees. Um, I tried this twice over two days and I had varying results both times. Um, I will admit that I am not the best at styling my hair when it comes to heat styling. So um, it's a trial and error process. But um, I will tell you that this retails for $39.99 US. Uh, price may vary uh, by location, so stay tuned for more. So this Infinity Triple Barrel Waver is very nice. Um, it is a medium weight. It has tourmaline plates, so your hair doesn't stick. Um, it has a lot of features. It has a dual voltage and it has five heat settings. It also has an automatic shutoff after 60 minutes. It also has a swivel cord and it goes from 285 degrees to 410 degrees. Um, this is what it looks like straight out of the package. Uh, that's a little instruction pamphlet that comes with it. It is, uh, it does have an on and off button, a low and a high. Um, and the only two out of the three barrels actually open. So this is just to show you what it looked like when it's actually open. Um, it's a medium weight. It's not too, too hard to open. Um, it's not extremely um, heavy. And this was just kind of to show you the information about it, um, the heat settings. And on low, it goes three, 285 to 310 degrees Fahrenheit. On medium, uh, it does 310 degrees to 340 degrees. And on high, it is 375 degrees to 410 degrees. And that is all Fahrenheit. Um, you kind of have to press the buttons a little at a time for them to change. And this was just to show you kind of how to go about that. Um, the high and the low buttons do have a setting on each side so you can press and hold them to reach the desired setting that you need. The iron does heat up very, very quickly. So as you can see, I do have kind of like a little silicon heat pad. So that is necessary. And I would also suggest that you have a heat glove. Um, it does get very, very hot. Um, according to the directions, you're supposed to style your hair um, depending by your hair type. And I'll get to that shortly. So again, this would just kind of show you what it looked like with all the heat settings. So the highest heat setting is 410 degrees. Um, and this was my one day test for the first day. And that's what my hair looks like normally. I had to use a um, heat protector. And this is the information on how to style your hair. If you have fine hair, they suggest to use the lowest setting. If you have medium to wavy hair to use the highest setting. I used the lowest setting and I ended up with straight hair. Um, this was the second day test. And on the second day, I found out that if I used 375 to 410 degrees, it works better for my wavy hair. And this is an actual test of me trying out the product on the second day. Um, it is a medium weight waver. It's not so heavy that your wrist rolls, but it does take a little time and it can be slightly bulky. Um, you're supposed to take smaller sections of hair and I just kind of grabbed a chunk of hair. Um, if you do want deeper waves, you can use smaller sections and hold it 15 to 20 seconds at a time um, and then move downward. I kind of did a, a clamping and a moving motion because when I actually moved the waver through my hair, it would straighten as it went along. Um, again, your results may vary and it may take you time to um, figure out what heat setting works best for you. So this is what my hair looked like at the end. I did have soft waves and by the end of the day, my hair did look a little better, but this is basically what my result was from 410 degrees to 375 degrees. So stay tuned. So hi everyone. Again, this is the Infinity Pro by Conair three barrel waver. So it's a nice product. It's a decent weight. As you can see, it has the, the swivel cord, which is good. It has a stand, as I mentioned. Um, and it also has an automatic shutoff. According to the directions, after 60 minutes of use, it automatically shuts off. Um, I don't know how long I used it for because I was kind of playing with it on and off 
but I know I didn't use it for about an hour. Um, it is easy to open as you can see and then that's the way the the barrels work so we'll pretend this is on so what you're supposed to do is get as closest to the scalp as you can I almost burned my ear and I'm always worried because since I have to use my glasses when I do stuff I'm worried that I was gonna melt my glasses so I as you saw in the earlier I just kind of did this and you let it sit there and heat for a few seconds at a time again it will depend on your hairstyle your desired look and your hair type so basically you just kind of do that or you can slide it but when I when I went ahead and I slid it down my hair I ended up with just um, straight hair and according to the little pamphlet that it comes with it tells you that if you have <clears throat> Please excuse all the crinkling. That if you have fragile to fine hair, you use the low setting, which is 285 degrees. If you have medium to normal hair, you use the medium setting, which is 310. And if you have wavy to curly hair, which I do, you use 340 degrees. Or um, if you have coarse to thick hair, it ranges from 375 to 410. I didn't spend a lot of time on the 340 degree setting I did find out that for 410 it did um, it was a little too hot for my hair so I'll have to try it again on the 340 setting I did like though that it was easy to use I didn't have a lot of issues with it it heats up <clears throat> excuse me as I mentioned it heats up really quickly so you will need to use a heat protector for your surface and um, I would also suggest a heat glove. I need to buy one and I need to buy a larger heat protector. But I think if you're someone with longer hair and you, you want to try something like this, this may be a product for you. Um, as the instructions state, you may have to go over your hair um, or go over certain sections again for the desired look that you want. Um, as you can see, my hair at this point is naturally wavy so I wanted it to enhance my waves so I'm still gonna have to play around with it a little bit but I think for the price point of $39 US it's not too bad um, it's decently priced I like that it wasn't so bulky that it would roll my wrists when I'm trying to use it it is large um, they also have a two barrel waiver um, that someone might be interested in as well but I, I liked it. Um, I like the tourmaline. I can tell you that it didn't fry my hair at all, even on the 410 degree setting. I didn't have um, crunchy hair. My hair wasn't brittle. So the tourmaline does a pretty good job at, at protecting your hair. Again, you will need to use a heat protector and you will need to use a heat protector that is probably for a heating appliance like this. I had a blowout product because that's what I had on hand. So I just use that, but I would think a heat protector made specifically for a curling wand or anything like that would work better. But overall, I was really happy with it. Um, I've added the links in the description.